I have the pleasure now to be speaking to Ehsan Alayari Parsa from KPNG Venture Services Germany. Are you guys uh, looking back at a long tradition or is this something where you see there's movement on the market and so we're going in there and we're trying to make connections? KPNG has a long history, I think a century long, and then KPMG Venture Services also, as long as there's really the, the word of a startup scene, we've been around. So, I mean, one of our, I mean, the earliest clients we've had, look, looking at 2014, for example, when it was the first time you called these innovative companies startups, you know, it's also about the definition, what is a startup? Uh, today, they are in our DAX 40 uh, stock exchange markets, like, for example, you have Zalando, you have Delivery Heroes, they are now huge companies, but 2014, per definition they were startups and that's where the first contact had started so yeah we've been around as long as the scene has been around <laughs> it must be a pleasure seeing these startups also succeed and, and growing and scaling up and um, do you see a uh, movement here after these tumultuous two years that uh, that we've just had in a, a renewed drive to to innovate and to enter the market with innovative products definitely I think um, one thing that I learned from the Mandarin language, they have the sign, the sign for opportunity and risk. So a, a crisis being also an opportunity, it's kind of the same pictogram they use in Mandarin. And I think this has become apparent throughout the whole pandemic globally, that uh, once you have a crisis, there is a huge potential for innovation because you have to innovate simply. And we have seen it in Germany, for example, with the education technology market. Before that, digital solutions were maybe available, but they were not predominantly really used. And now you see universities that are very, very prestigious and antique institutions are getting more digital. Why? Because it wasn't possible through the pandemic to have those things in presence. So, yeah, I think it has been it has been challenging. At the same time, it has been a booster for those uh, specific regions. Yeah. When we talk about uh, these sectors that have traditionally maybe not been so open to innovation, uh, what kind of mindset um, do you need to to enter there and to make things move from a, a digital innovation perspective? I think the mindset that you need. I mean, mindset is also kind of an overused term. I don't want to get too much into buzzwords there, but I think uh, you have to be simply willing to take those risks and uh, to you know challenge the status quo in those points and uh, go with a new way. I mean, especially if you look at the automobile industry, for example. I mean, we in Germany are super renowned for that for yeah decades, and now we see we have the Tesla Gigafactory close to Berlin. Uh, it's not directly in Berlin, even though Elon likes to say that. Um, so, but I mean, with this situation, you see it. It's kind of a statement that you have this uh, innovative electrical vehicle company coming into kind of the homeland of automobile industry. And I think we are doing things in that direction. We are trying to build our own infrastructure. I think, though, a, a more appropriate mindset would be a cooperative one, one where we wouldn't like say we have to compete with the US, but we would say, OK, you already have an existing infrastructure. Our electrical cars could use that as well. We see that there's really kind of an ego kind of perspective that we are the number one in automotive industry and we have to do this on our own, where I'm not sure if that's the best way. Yeah. Uh, speaking of learning and cooperating, uh, are there any key takeaways that you'll take home to Berlin uh, from your stay in Vienna? I mean, first of all, I have to digest because as every conference, it has been like so much, an influx of great information, great panels, great speakers here at the DAC conference. So uh, ideally for a really good answer, I would have to reflect on that one. But I mean, in, in general, a, a great topic was the ESG and uh, what's the difference between an ESG and impact driven VC fund, for example. Uh, is this just another buzzword which is overused or are there really like slight different connotations to the internet intentionality of those VC funds. So I think this was very interesting to learn because, I mean, we do not have time for buzzwords. We really have to act. We really have to reach those goals that we have set till 2030. It's not that far away anymore. And um, so it was really great that there was such a uh, sustainable focus on this conference. Thank you so much, Esan, for your time. It's been a pleasure. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so much.